is a huge problem with girls, women, boys, men, literally everyone being just too afraid to talk about the most normal and natural process there is, the process that literally lets us reproduce. government hasn't done anything about periods. Poverty does stem from the fact that we live in a patriarchy. I think the fact that the tampon tax is a really sexist tax, I would say. I think it took the government years to respond and even so it hasn't been completely eradicated. There is this idea that because periods only are a women's, women's issue and because we're so afraid to talk about them anyway, they are really kind of kept under wraps and we, we, feel, we don't feel proud of them, we don't feel like we can talk about them. When we see this contrast between countries like India, countries like Kenya and the same happening not just in the UK but in France, Germany, it's been discovered to be literally a problem all around Europe. I think that really shows us that there is a lot of, there's a lot that we believe that isn't true. I think a lot of people are in denial about the level of poverty in the UK. A lot of people think, you know, we're the fifth largest economy, um, we're all really prosperous, everyone's fine there's no poverty in the UK, but there is real abject poverty in the UK and I think that's something that we don't see. It's not always visible, but it is literally happening right on our doorstep. And if there are girls literally too poor to go to school, too poor to get an education, which is you know, something we fought for and all girls deserve. I will never know exactly how many people came but so many people came and just seeing that number of people who are as passionate as I am about you know seeing an end to period poverty I mean that's inspiring in itself it's just like there's this whole community of period activists and um, it's just you don't feel like you're alone in asking the government to do something because there are so many people who want to see change mm -hmm.